power. Peace and black power, peace and black power. Peace and black power, peace and black power. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. It is the Prince of Pan-Africanism, Dr. Umar Ifatunde. I am live and direct in West Orange, New Jersey right now. I am live and direct in West Orange, New Jersey right now. Had a meeting I need to attend. I was getting ready for tomorrow's New York City Black Parent Boot Camp in Brooklyn. I was getting ready for tomorrow's New York City Black Parent Boot Camp in Brooklyn. And somebody sent me a link. I was sent the link. I'm going to talk about this tonight, but I'm just giving you a little intro. They sent me a link of Iron Mike Tyson, who I respect, one of my favorite athletes of all time, speak with Brother Freddie Gribbs. And uh, Brother, they were talking about white girls, something that uh, famous black men like to do. They were talking about white girls. And uh, Freddie said, we can't be talking about these white girls or Dr. Umar going to be mad at us. Well, that was the first mistake, Brother Freddie, because I don't get emotional because black men don't know how to be loyal to black women. That doesn't get me emotional, my brother. Politics is not about emotions. Brother Freddie, politics is not about emotions. So when you say Dr. Umar will be angry at us for talking about white girls, you are incorrect. I understand, overstand, and understand the post-traumatic slavery disease of the American Negro. I wouldn't get upset with you, brother. I will have compassion for you. I will hurt for you that we have lost our way as black men. Don't ever say I'm going to get angry because you want to talk about white girls. If that's the case, I'd be angry all day. No, sir, brother. You got to understand, understand, and overstand who I am and what I stand for, my brother. I don't get angry because black men love white girls. That's not what I do, my brother. What you should have said, what you could have said, okay, what should have been stated is that Dr. Umar does not support interracial marriages because they take away from the building of solid black families between the black man and the black woman. That's what you should have said. This is not about emotions, brother. This is not about hating white folks. This is about loving my people, loving my race, loving my woman, loving my community. It has nothing to do with hating anybody else. So you misrepresented me, brother Freddie. You misrepresented me. And then you went on. And then you went on. You said, well, Dr. Umar does got some good things to say. But then you also said that uh, my position on interracial marriages, I forget the words you use, but you basically said it was some bullshit or something like that, right? Or some garbage or something like that. And then you went on again and you took another shot at me and you said something to the effect that, uh, what did you say? You took two shots, two shots. Uh, then you said something about, um, I don't listen to that part or that's foolish. You said that was stupid or foolish that I disagree with interracial relationships. It is stupid and foolish. That's not your words, my brother. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you said something to the effect that it was stupid or foolish. My position on black men sticking to black women so we can rebuild the black community. That, that, that's goofy to y'all. That's foolish to y'all. That's, that's stupid to y'all. And that's a damn shame. That is a damn shame. I am embarrassed that black men, I am embarrassed that black men feel that there's something wrong with black men who say we need to stick to our own women so we can rebuild our community. I'm embarrassed that you feel that way. Now, I'm not knocking my brother, Freddie. You, when you mentioned my name, I said, okay, the brother is, you know, trying to put Mike Tyson onto some consciousness, some real consciousness. But then... You know, you don't back me up. And I don't need you to back me up, my brother. But if you're going to put my name out there, you should have at least articulated who I am. The best you could come up with is he don't like white people. 
that was your response when he asked you, who is Dr. Umar? You said he don't like white people. Are you serious, my brother? Are you serious? All the work that I have done, am doing, and continue to do for our race. And the best thing you could come up with when someone asks you, who is Dr. Umar? He don't like white people. You don't mention my credentials. You don't mention my work, my books, my school, the fact that I'm the main person out here saving black boys, saving black children. I'm the main reason why black parents can go into these schools and uh, articulately and intelligently advocate for their children and defend their children and keep them out of special ed and keep them off drugs, all that I do. I'm the number one black consciousness raiser in the world. And the best thing you can say is, he don't like white folks. That's the best thing that you can say is he don't like white folks. My brother, you do not have to defend me, but if you're going to mention me, at least be honest and be fair in what you say about me, brother. White folks would have done better than that. And Mike Tyson, I love and respect you, but your comments were very, very coonish. Your comments were very, very coonish. I always gave you credit as being one of the celebrities who I felt was a little bit more closer to the grassroots. I always gave I always gave Mike Tyson credit for being one of those celebrities who I felt kept it more honest and more real when it came to issues of race and politics. But today, my brother, what I heard was pure coonery. What I heard today was pure coonery. You said, who is Dr. Umar? First of all, I doubt very seriously if you don't know who I am, brother Mike Tyson. I doubt very seriously if you don't know who I am, brother Mike Tyson. I doubt very seriously if you don't know who I am. And in your body language, your body language, when he said you should bring Dr. Umar on the podcast, you froze up and you stopped. And then you said, wait, wait, wait a minute. I got to do some research on him. But your body language did not correspond with your words. If you didn't know who I am, your body, you should not have reacted physically the way that you did. You would have just said, I don't know the brother. I'll look him up and I'll see. No, sir. You had a full body reaction when he mentioned my name. Iron Mike Tyson had a full body reaction when brother Freddie mentioned my name. So there's no way your mouth can say one thing and your body language says something different. There's no way your mouth can say one thing and your body language says something totally different. I think you know who I am. It is almost impossible for you to live in America and not know who I am. It's impossible. It's impossible to live in an African world and not know who I am. But anyway, brother, you said when he told you I don't support interracial relationships, brother Iron Mike Tyson said, who is he to have that opinion? You said, who is he to have that opinion. Brother Mike Tyson, that was a very bourgeoisie, untalented 10th, coon Illuminati statement of you, my brother. What do you mean, who is he to have that comment like that? I thought every man and woman on the planet Earth had a right to their own opinion and position. I thought every man and woman on the planet Earth had a right to their own opinion and position. I thought every man and woman on the planet Earth had a right to their own opinion and position. Brother Mike Tyson, when you say, who is he to have that position? What are you saying? I got to be a billionaire to have that position? I got to be a millionaire to have that position? Yes, sir. Black power. I appreciate you, God. One love to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't understand. What credentials do I need to hold to have an opinion that goes against the mainstream narrative? Who is he to have that opinion? That tells me that you're working from an elitist, exclusive, black bourgeoisie celebrity mindset. When you say something like that, who is he to have that opinion? It sounds like you're working from a bougie, upper class, talented 10th Negro mindset. That's what that sounds like, Brother Mike Tyson. I'm not here to disrespect Brother Mike Tyson or Freddie. 
I love both of my brothers, but the exchange that they had about me was sickening. I was misrepresented. Nothing either one of you said was correct or accurate. I have more videos on YouTube than any scholar alive, more than most entertainers. So there's no way you should have to misrepresent who I am. You should be able to go get the information yourself. And then you ask him, was I wealthy? What kind of bougie shit is that? What kind of bougie shit is that? It's like somebody saying, is Brother Malcolm X wealthy? Is the Honorable Marcus Garvey wealthy? Is Dr. King wealthy? Is Harriet Tubman wealthy? Is Ida B. Wells wealthy? Is Fred Hampton wealthy? Is Fannie Lou Hamer wealthy? That's your question, is he wealthy? So if he's not wealthy, then nothing he says, although he got more education than I do, okay? Although he got way more education than I do, if he's not wealthy, I don't wanna hear his opinion. My brother, I thought you came from a black ghetto just like me. My brother, I thought you came from a black ghetto just like me. My brother, I thought you came from a black ghetto just like me. My brother, I am disappointed at that. As far as the Mike Tyson Hot Boxing Podcast, I would love to have this conversation with you, brother. Any day you want. Any day Mike Tyson when I have a conversation with Dr. Umar on his podcast about interracial dating, black politics, black economics, any topic you want to discuss, Brother Mike Tyson, any topic you want to discuss, Brother Mike Tyson, I'm ready to have that conversation. I'm in New York City until Monday. Where's your studio? I'm in New York City until Monday. Where's your studio?